Hi, welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class six under three phase circuits, let us see problems on unbalanced circuits, especially our delta network as well as our star network, which is unbalanced. So the first problem you can see a 415 volts, 50 hertz three phase supply of sequence RYB is supplied to a delta connected load consisting of 100 ohms between R and Y. 500 milli entries inductor between Y and B and a capacitor of 40 microfarads between B and R are connected. Determine line currents respectively. For that, as soon as you see these kind of problems, first collect the data which is given to us. So data which is given to us is uh, a line voltage whose value is 4 and 15 volts, we are taking this one as a reference and this line voltage is when you follow the phase sequence it becomes B Y B which is equal to 415 at an angle minus 120 degrees and V B R which is will be equal to 415 at an angle minus 240 degrees volts. So once we are done with the line voltages we can take the data which is given to us whose value of resistance connected between R and Y is 100 ohms. Inductor value is 500 milli entries. Capacitance value is 40 microfarads. But what is the unknown parameter? The unknown parameter is Z, R, Y, Z, Y, B, Z, B, R. For that, according to the given passive elements, convert the passive elements into the impedance values. Before that, convert all the values of inductor and capacitor respectively in inductive re uh, reactance as well as capacitive reactance. For that, XL would be equal to 2 pi FL. We are calculating the value of uh, inductive reactance which is placed between Y and B. So the value is 157 ohms. Similarly, the capacitance reactance connected between B and R which is equal to 79.57 ohms. Now it will be easy for us to find out the impedance value connected between Ry, Yb and Br which is equal to 100 ohms or 100 and angle 0 degrees ohms. So this I have taken in polar form. Similarly, the polar form of Zyb will be equal to 157 at an angle 90 degrees. So you can see I have both the values of inductive reactance in rectangular form as well as in polar form. Likewise, ZBR connected between these two parameters can be obtained to be 79.57 at an angle minus 90 degrees. So once we are done with the ZRY, ZYP and ZBR, we can easily calculate the phase currents which will be equivalent to IRY as 4.15 amperes, IYB which is equal to 2.642 at an angle 150 degrees amperes. So you can see IYB is in polar form as well as in rectangular form. Similarly, IBR would be equal to 5.21 at an angle minus 150 degrees or minus 4.516 minus 2.6 J amperes presented in rectangular form. So once we are done with phase currents, we can calculate the line currents. Therefore, line currents are given by IR which is equal to IRY minus IBR. Just applying KCL at node R, we can see IR is the incoming current, IBR is also incoming current whereas IRY is outgoing current. So some of the currents at a particular node is equal to 0, the incoming currents is equal to outgoing currents. With that, I can calculate the value of IR whose value is nothing but equal to 6.56 at an angle minus 11.6 degrees amperes. So once I done with line current IR, I can calculate IY which is equal to 6.56 at an angle 168.39 degrees and IB equal to 4.5 at an angle minus 119.53 degrees. 
So this is how we calculate the line currents for the given data problem. Now a star network is given and the unbalanced loads are given by ZA, ZB, ZC whose values are equal to 20 at an angle 0 degrees, 29.15 at, at an angle 30.96 degrees and 5 at an angle 90 degrees respectively all are in ohms. What we need to calculate? We need to calculate the line currents. So the data which is given to us take the data as it is. So in star directed network we need to remember that the relationship between phase voltage and line voltage is equal to phase voltage is equal to VL by rho 3. So the value is 254 volts. So once we are done with phase voltage we can calculate the rest of the phase voltages respectively as VAN, VPN, VCN whose values are 254 reference 0 degrees minus 120 degrees minus 240 degrees respectively. Also the line currents will be equal to uh, in a star network the line current and the phase current are one and the same. So the value of line current will be 12.7 amperes. 8.71 at an angle minus 150.96 degrees amperes and IC would be equal to 50.8 at an angle minus 330 degrees amperes. So once we are done with the line currents or phase currents for star connected unbalanced load, we can calculate the neutral current which would be equal to 53.45 at an angle 23.33 degrees amperes. So this is how we can simply calculate the line currents and phase currents or line voltages or phase voltages for a delta or a star network which is given to us. I hope you like this video. Please share among your friends, subscribe to our channel and please